Да что они сделают? Что ты Russia can launch nuclear strike against any NATO country member of Duma made scandalous statement. Russia can launch a nuclear strike against any NATO country and not only, said Andrei Katapolov, chairman of the Russian State Duma Defense Committee. Technically, based on our capabilities, we can strike any country, both NATO and non-NATO, and any other country at all. But it is on what ground we will make such decisions that we will see based on the specific situation. Kartapolov told the parliamentary newspaper, they think they can play with us indefinitely. No, they can't. Remember, as it was said in the wonderful Soviet film, the meeting place cannot be changed. Don't be afraid, we won't stab you painfully. One second and you're already in heaven. And it will be the same here. Kartapolov concluded, threats against the West from Moscow have been heard since the first day of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. In particular, the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, previously warned that armed supplies to Kyiv are bringing NATO closer to the dangerous point of a direct military clash with Russia. Recently, President Vladimir Putin said at a meeting with the heads of world news agencies that Russia can supply its long-range weapons to those regions of the world from which it will be possible to deliver sensitive blows to countries supplying weapons to Ukraine. We are thinking about the fact that if someone considers it possible to supply such weapons to a combat zone to strike our territory and create problems for us, then why do we not have the right to supply our weapons of the same class to those regions of the world where strikes will be carried out on sensitive targets on those countries that do this against Russia? He asked. At the same time, Putin emphasized that the answer may be asymmetrical. We will think about it, the head of state added. Currently, 14 states have allowed Ukraine to use weapons supplied by them against military targets on Russian territory. These are the USA, Germany, Canada, Denmark, France, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Poland, Sweden, Finland, Czech Republic, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. The decision was made in connection with another escalation of the conflict on the part of Russia, which has increased the shelling of critical infrastructure in Ukraine and launched an offensive in the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian drones are also becoming a nightmare for Russian submarines. Russian troops can recharge their submarines with missiles at the Novorossiysk base station. This is done due to the occupier's fear of new Ukrainian strikes on Crimea, where this type of weaponry was previously based. A similar situation was predicted in the naval forces of the Ukrainian armed forces. Ukrainian Navy speaker Dmitro Pletenchuk told that opinion on the national newscast. There was an opportunity to reload submarines at the Novorossiysk base point because we have repeatedly seen their use without measures at the Sevastopol base point. They probably solved this problem, which is expected, Ukrainian Navy speaker said. According to him, the Russian Black Sea Fleet still has submarine guards, large landing ships and cruise missile carriers. The group remains quite large. The only thing is that they have actually now reduced the use of ship boat crews only to submarines. These are either carriers of cruise missiles, of which they have three left or simply a diesel electric submarine of the Halibut project. We've been seeing these units out to sea lately. Today is a case where the number of ships is larger than usual, but it is an inter-base transition due to security measures. They implement this in order to preserve the shipyard, he added. He noted that surface ships are not being used. Since mid-autumn last year, five attacks have been confirmed and three of them have been carried out by enemy submarines. Sea drones are reshaping naval combat in the Black Sea. Ukraine has had a major advantage so far, but as the Russian Navy gets better at countering them, this lead is under threat. 
Now a Ukrainian project seeks to introduce highly capable Western underwater drones to fight. Imagine a future where Ukrainian submersibles sink Russian warships far out in the Black Sea. Project Fury, which is preparing for the next Ukrainian government defense hackathon, is daring to do just that. The naval war in the Black Sea is the first in history to have been shaped by uncrewed platforms. Ukraine was quick to innovate with uncrewed boats and has so far seemed one step ahead of the Russian Navy. But their lead is under threat. 